welcome to the world of science! For today's lesson, we have here microscope. Did you know that the microscope came from the combination of two words? Micro, which means small, and scope, which means view. This instrument is designed to produce magnified visuals or photographic images of the objects that are too small to be seen by our naked eye. The early microscopes used by Anton van Leeuwenhoek were described as simple since they only had one lens. Also, in 1595, the Janssen brothers invented the compound microscope. With that, let us know further about compound microscope and, and how, how it works. works. The compound microscope is an optical instrument with two lens system, the objectives and the ocular or the eyepiece. It can magnify up to several hundred times of its actual size. It may be monocular or having one eyepiece or ocular or binocular or having two eyepiece. Let's proceed to the parts of the compound microscope. The parts of the compound microscope are classified into three major parts, which are the mechanical part, the magnifying part, and the illuminating part. And we will discuss it one by one. This is the base. This is the base of the microscope. This is where the microscope are firmly rest. While this is the arm. This is the arm of the microscope in which the arm connects the base and the body tube together. It serves as a handle for compound microscope in carrying the microscope. Then the stage the stage is the platform that hold or support the slide containing the specimen. It has an opening at the center that allows light to pass to pass from below into the specimen for the study. Then the stage clips. The stage clips hold the specimen firmly on the stage. While this is the coarse adjustment knob in which upper larger knobs used to bring an object into focus only while it is being viewed under the low power objective or LPO. This is a fine adjustment. Lower, smaller knobs for the slow movement of the body tube when focusing under the high power objective or HPO and other high powered lenses. Then the revolving nose piece. It is where the, the objectives was carried. Turn to select the appropriate objective. The lenses must be clicked in place for the field to be visible. Then the draw tube. The draw tube is the smaller cylinder attached to the upper part of the body tube that holds the ocular. This is the eyepiece or ocular. It is detachable cylinder located at the upper end of the tube. It may have a line inside that serves as a pointer and rotates as the ocular is rotated. Then, the objectives. The objectives, usually an ordinary laboratory microscope, has two or three objectives attached to the revolving nose piece. These are the scanner, the scanner, this is the scanner, the low, the low power objectives, and the high power objectives. Then, the magnification achieved by each objective lens is indicated on the side. Common values are the 10 times for the low power, 40 times, 40 times for the high power, and 100 times for the all immersion objective. The scanner objective, it is the shortest, shortest cylinder with a very large opening. It is provided with a large lens for a very low magnification and is used to observe a much wider field of the object. It is usually marked with 5 times. Then, the low power objective. It is a shorter cylinder with a large lens opening. It is used to observe the general outline and locate the various parts of the specimen. It is focused using the coarse adjustment knob. Then, the high power objective. It is a longer cylinder with a small lens opening. It is equipped with lenses of high power magnifying power and is used to study the detailed parts of the specimen. It is focused by using the fine adjustment knob. Then, let's proceed to the illuminating parts. The mirror. It is a planar one side and concave on the other. It is used to reflect light through objects and lenses of the eyes. The concave side of the mirror is used for natural light. 
while the flat inside is used for artificial light. It is held by the mirror rod. Caution! Never use direct sunlight as it may damage. The lenses of the microscope can also injure your eyes. So, the condenser. The condenser located on a substage held in place by a rock. It is used to condense or concentrate the light reflected from the mirror to the object or specimen being examined.